Today I'm going to show you how to create a sliced text effect in Canva like this one. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Let's go to canva.com homepage and we're going to create a new document. For this project, I'm gonna go for a presentation document. You can find it under this section. So let's use the first option and create blank. From here, we're gonna add a text box. So let's go to the text section on the left hand side and add a heading. For the font, I do recommend that you guys use a bold font. So I'm gonna use Montserrat, but if you want to use a different font, you can click on the search bar and find the option bold. Okay, here we have the bold option. What Canva is doing now is that it's filtering all the fonts available in Canva for only the bold fonts. So I guess this is an easier way for you to find a bold font that you really like. All of the fonts that are without a crown are available for free, but the ones with the crown are available only for Canva Pro users. The one that I'm using is Montserrat, has this extra bold option and it is a free font. I'm also using the bold feature and now I guess we are ready to customize the text inside the text box. So I'm gonna type sliced and I'm gonna make this text box really big. I'm also going to change the color of this text so we're gonna use this feature and I'm gonna use a bright color. Let me try to find a warm light color. We're not going to use a dark color because later on we're going to apply a shadow to the slide text so I want the shadow to be visible that's why we are going for this light color okay once you have the color that you want we are going to export this page so go to share download and then we're going to download this as PNG you can download it as it is if you have a free account but if you have a Canva Pro account you can select the transparent background you can see that this is available for Canva Pro users and this is going to give you more flexibility in case that you want to change the background color later on so I have a Canva Pro account I'm able to use this feature and then download bear in mind that and you will be able to use it even if you don't have a transparent background. I already have my image downloaded to my computer and I'm going to drag the image again back to Canva. Once you have your image uploaded to Canva, we're gonna add a page and bring this image to our empty page. Now, Let's go to edit image. We're gonna use an app called Slice. I already have it here under recently used, but if you don't see it in here, just scroll down and you will be able to see it somewhere here. Okay, I have it here. I'm gonna select the option called chipped. So we're going to click two times. I already clicked once and I'm going to click a second time to access these sliders. So from here, I'm able to select the amount of slices that we want to see on the image. So that will depend on what looks on your text and how many slices you want on your text. I think I'm gonna go for this option here. Then you can also adjust the offset. I think somewhere here looks nice. And then you can also adjust the position of the slicing. Okay, I think this is looking great. Now we're going to apply the effect on our image. And now we're going to open the elements section to find a shadow. So we can search for shadow effect. In here you will find a free option of a shadow that you will be able to use. There are some others in here kind of hidden <laughs> it's difficult to see them because this window is dark but you will see that there is an element in here i'm gonna go for this option right here or this one and then i'm gonna 
rotate the image and I'm going to position this shadow right above our sliced effect and then I'm going to adjust the size of the shadow so it fits exactly our text so somewhere here like this okay and then you can play around with your text I'm going to tilt my image and make it bigger and lastly I'm gonna add some pizza slices so I can work with this one position this pizza somewhere here and then another pizza image here okay there you go you can leave your image like this so you can have the shadow only on the text but if you want you can also increase the size of this shadow so it fits the whole width of the page and then you have a slightly different sliced effect on your design i think this one also looks really good so it depends on what you are looking for so this is with a shadow which is available for canva pro users but let me show you a trick so you get a pretty similar effect with the free shadow so I'm gonna duplicate this page I'm gonna delete the shadow and now I'm gonna select one of the free shadows this one is available for free so let's bring it to our design and now you can either crop the shadow like this so you have a straight line on your shadow or you can select the shadow go to crop and crop your shadow like this once you have your shadow cropped you're going to rotate it and then position it on your text and then you can adjust it to your text or to your page and there you go you have the completely free version you can do the same steps even if you download the image with a background which is completely free and then you have the option which is available for canva pro in which you can download the text without a background and when you are designing if you want to change the background you can do it so let me show you i can change the color in the background because my text is without a background remember that we downloaded it without a background so if i want i can change the color of the background which i wouldn't be able to do it with the free version but still you can get this same effect if you liked this tutorial, I'm sure you're gonna love this other tutorial in which Ronnie teaches you how to add gradients to any font in Canva. Also, I'm going to leave you guys a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro in here in case that you want to try it out. I guess this is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Bye!